Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're trying to figure out why there's a toothpaste tube in my freezer. Yep, it's really there, but it's there for a very good reason. I've been experimenting trying to fix a flaw with a really popular life hack, and I've found a way to do it. You may have seen a lot of other tutorials or even my video on how to make gel ice packs or other kinds of DIY ice packs. They work really well, but most of them have a major risk of rupture or leakage. I've got a really simple solution for this, and it's an empty toothpaste tube. Later in the video, I'm gonna really put it to the rupture test, but for now, let's get it ready. I'm gonna start by blowing it up like a balloon. Once you've got that, it looks like a brand new tube of toothpaste for the most part, but what you wanna do is put some warmer hot water in there, shake it up, rinse it out, and then repeat that a few times, and that'll get it nice and clean and ready for your use. In my previous video, I showed you that my favorite mix for a good gel ice pack is a three to one ratio of water to 91% rubbing alcohol. This works out really, really well. So I'm using two ounces of rubbing alcohol here and six ounces of water. I wanna make sure to get that nice and mixed up and we're gonna then get that into our newly cleaned out tube. For filling my tube, I'm using this infusion syringe that I found in the kitchen, but you can use any other kind of syringe or maybe even a small funnel. All you need to do is make sure to get the tube filled. Even if you cause a little bit of spillage, it really doesn't matter because it cleans up easily and it's rubbing alcohol and water. It's actually used for cleaning in a lot of other cases anyway, so you're not really making much of a mess. What you do wanna make sure of though is that you leave some extra room in the tube so that it can expand as it freezes, but it also gives you some flexibility for using it and molding it around shapes and places where you want to have it. So squeeze some of that air back out and then put the cap on nice and tight. Now, if you've ever noticed using a toothpaste tube before, the seams and closures are really strong, so you can squeeze it really hard and it's designed to not rupture. But did you know what? You can put it down and start pounding on it too. And even as a just fluid state, nothing leaks out and it doesn't pop. That's pretty darn cool. But let's get cooler by freezing it. I usually just pop them into the freezer at night and that way the next day or any time after that, it's ready to use whenever I need one. If you wanna use it for first aid or any other purpose like that, just wrap it in a paper towel. You can put it across your temple or anywhere else on your face where you might have some pain. Got muscle pain from activity? These are great for pinpoint treatment. In fact, the inside of this when it's frozen is much like a Slurpee. It's really slushy and works great. If you look at this plastic bag, this was the leftover from when I made the tube and you can see exactly how slushy it becomes. It actually works really well in a Ziploc bag, but like I said, it could leak or rupture. So in the last video, I even used this bottle, which worked great for larger areas like bigger sore muscle tissue, and even some small coolers. I've had the Ziploc bags leak even without squeezing them, so I'm not gonna put much pressure on a Ziploc bag if I'm using it this way. But the tube, on the other hand, once it's frozen, does not leak at all. In fact, you can shape it exactly like you want to wrap it around a wrist, a finger, or other area where you might have pain, and you don't have to worry about leakage. Need proof that it's suitable for a small cooler or a snack pack? Punch away on it, and nothing happens. It works really well, and it's also convenient for soothing minor burns. I could use the bottle method this way, but I'm not about to try to pop on it because the top's going to come off and fail. Again, if you punch on the bag, it's really gonna fail. Might be fun at first, but you've got a mess. If you need some variety or have different size needs, try different size tubes. Just have some fun and experiment. Thanks for stopping by Dialed In DIY to chill with me on this unique approach to a life hack. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know with a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, hey, please hit that subscribe button so you can come on back because there's gonna be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.